how to fix jammed button and jammy items. So I know, don't hate me if the, don't just, don't just like this video. I know there's some other props that have this button. So this is my devil. His button isn't completely jammed, but you have to push down kind of hard. And we're just gonna be, so first you're going to notice these screws on the base. Unscrew all four of that. And make sure when you get it open to be very cautious because if any wires come off, you will have to re first of all find where they used to be. So just unscrew those four screws so if you lose one you're gonna have to replace them with brand new screws. Now this works with any animatronic that has the same type of button. So what we're going to basically just be doing is opening this up and just taking out the button piece for a second and then reinserting it and screwing that thing up extra tight which should solve up, solve the problem. If not, um, then yeah, I guess that might be a little bit of a problem. So as you can see, I've gotten two screws. You Sorry that I'm not really showing you this part. It's kind of hard to keep them here. I'll try to get it in because I want to be really careful not to break anything. So he works fine, uh, everything mechanically. Well, his button's just a little bit jammed, and it's, it could keep getting more jammed. I don't know. I've had some animatronics that got completely jammed and wouldn't do. Here, one second. Sorry about that, guys. Anyway. Let's finish up this last screw. Then they should come popping up. Be very cautious. That's a very small board, actually. Only opened him up once before to try to fix the gym. Uh, so I've opened him up before to try to fix the gym, but, but I don't think I did it right because it was still jammed, as you can imagine. Because I'm opening up today. I'm going to try this. Oh yeah, that screwdriver works. Okay, so, I'm simply just going to unscrew this screw. Just the first screw. Then you're going to see this button piece. Simply just kind of move it around a little bit. And simply just by doing this, just kind of move around the button. You can... I'm not going to take it out, but you can see right there, there's a button, just move around kind of that piece inside there with your screwdriver, or whatever. Then, you can reinsert the screw. Make sure that button piece is going all the way in. It's too... Make sure that it has good contact. So, then you're going to re screw it. Screw it in extra tight. 
It's for it will push harder down on the piece. And we will test it. See if I can tighten it anymore. Oh, that's great. That actually is way better. So you actually, basically, you don't actually have to open up that piece. You could actually probably just uh, screw that screw way tighter. I'll see if I can tighten it anymore. Just to ensure. Fix. And then you can simply put back in all screws and I'll just screw that, those in and then show you the final result. So this can just simply happen if that piece just for some reason isn't tight enough or any other reason there could be something blocking the button piece actually. That could be caused by a lot of things jammed button. What we were just looking at today is that piece just not being tight enough. Also, it's kind of hard to get the base back into a good, perfect place. And you're going to screw in the screws. So there are four screws. Yeah, please like and subscribe, bye.